pakai screen oke okay. boleh nampak eh screen oke okay. so uh, we uh, start uh, straight away uh, to our class for tonight so this is uh, the class for introduction for git and github oh uh, before that uh, just a brief introduction uh, my name is Nabil Akmal maybe uh, some of you already joined few class with me uh, uh, previously so today will be topic for git and github so uh, what is git first of all before you know github you need to know what is git because github is uh, basically made by git so git is uh, an open source version control system so the keyword is uh, version control which is uh, if let's say you guys want to be a developer so in order to be a developer a version control is a need lah uh, important things to know since uh, this is where you you control the whole history of your code base okay uh, between you and your teams lah so the entire code base and history is available on every developer's computer which is uh, your local or third party platform third, pa third party platform here uh, is uh, you can say github okay kita tambah kat sini so it will be either uh, github or bitbucket okay and then uh, banyak lagi lah since um, if you guys google any third party platform uh, that is using git there will be so many third party platform that maybe you guys uh, want to just uh, stick to some some of uh, the the famous lah oh and one more uh, gila okay this is just to make sure you guys ever heard some of the 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 name of the third party platform that is using git for version control that every developers need to know um okay and then uh what is version control so basically version control uh it's is what helps the developers to track and manage the changes any changes to a source code source code as in the whole code base be it a personal project or company project which is um, uh, being code by more than one developers lah developers yes so virtual control is essential when working with multiple developers this is to make sure um, I can say to make sure to avoid any uh, unnecessary conflict or maybe some of you already change uh, a part of the code and then uh, your friends or your teammate uh, change it back to to other line of codes lah so it will be a chaos since uh, the code needs to be uh, finally needs to be in one whole code base to to be run uh, in the live lah live production for the end user to use it so virtual control is basically useful so useful in for big project because if let's say the project itself uh, are being code by you yourself or maybe only two person you and your partner so it would be uh, a lot easier actually but for big project version control is a must lah so useful and then uh, in version control uh, there will be using method of uh, branching and merging so the keyword is uh, branching and merging which is branch or merge so okay just to make sure you guys can visualize on how version control is uh, happening the, the flow the flow so let's say uh, this is the source code this is one node of um, uh, code base maybe let's say here it would be 
source code on today is 13 Okay, this is in 13 January 2023 And then Throughout the timeline Here Here If you can see The timeline is uh, going forward From maybe 13 January until I can say A week later So it would be 20 January Which is maybe This, this would be uh, Any uh, Due date For your code To be delivered To the clients Or maybe uh, Your team leader To make sure The task given uh, Already been done or not So um, Okay uh, Before that uh, If you guys have any question Okay tak ada eh So kalau ada question uh, Cakap je lah terus Okay So uh, B B here As in uh, branch And then M here As in Merge lah Merging So The the flow is basically On 13 January 2023 There will be only one Repository This is what we call repository lah A code base Is a repository So The moment you yourself want to make any changes based on the task given by your team leader or boss uh, So what you need to do is uh, branch out the code base into your your branch So branch out here, what happen here is uh, it will duplicate uh, the code in master It will duplicate lah Okay, it will uh, by doing branch out. So the master branch here will be duplicated into here. Maybe your branch would be named by uh, um uh, uh form login maybe. Okay here. This is the the note lah. This is uh, mewakili note yang ni. Okay. So throughout the note here, as as you can see, there ha, uh, it has few notes, which is uh, this I can say the changes of your code uh, throughout the day from 13 until uh, 20. So the moment uh, this is the final note of your work here. So it would be the last. Um, the complete okay the complete code that you had done so you need to merge it back into the master into the master branch in the repository so this one i can say code done so what you need to do is you need to merge back okay into the master so your changes here will be uh, in in this branch in fit form login changes here in this branch will be merged into master so uh dia macam uh, you guys already done a few changes of code and then just want to uh update the changes that that part only not every not the whole code so only the part that you had done changes on it that only that part will Move uh, will be updated into the master branch lah. So, okay. Um, for this one, let's say this is uh your other teammates. So what he need to do is uh branch out uh from the latest branch here. This is uh maybe there's a few changes in the master branch. So he need to branch out using the latest branch, do some changes and then merge back here. So, by having a flow uh, of using version control here, we can avoid uh, code conflicts or I can say broken, uh, breaking changes in the branch, lah, in the master branch. And then, the last one here, this is uh, still the master branch, but we can say the updated master branch. Okay. So the, the the date here is 20 January. So throughout your code here maybe 
when you done your code is around I can say 16 January and then your friends work here code is done on 18 maybe 19 okay so this is basically as you can see uh, this is the example of history code history by using a flow in a timeline lah. so uh, this one this branch updated master branch this branch will be uh, deployed in our production lah. so this branch the code here will be used uh, by end user or other or our client lah, uh, by using the, the latest code okay mm. Any question uh, regarding the timeline first, the 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 uh, the flow here? Because uh, previously, um, during my internship, uh, I have a an issue where uh, I'm not sure on how to uh, branch out and when to branch out, when to merge, um, and then I always have code conflict with my teammates where he said that he had done this he had done a and then i said i already done b but then the changes are are not uh cannot be found lah in the original branch in the master branch so uh, we learn it in a hard way since um we actually few times uh, having a difficulty uh of losing our code even though we already could and then we merge it but then the, the, the changes is not there so it's quite uh, frustrating if you uh, don't understand the how how virtual control or timeline uh, with branch and merge lah okay yep chat box yep Ah, dah 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 dah. Okay. Okay, okay. So, um, if let's say, I think I can proceed to next uh section. Okay. So, next one is common branch practice. This is uh I can say how uh how developers commonly uh create their branch. Okay, so first of all, there will be always one original branch, which is the main branch in one repository. So it would be named by master or main or anything, but the common uh, keyword is master or main lah. Uh, so if you go to any company or any project, you can see that the 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 main branch is master or main, and then we will be having a staging branch which is uh, a I can say staging is the place where your code will be tested before it go into production so okay maybe boleh tambah lagi sikit sini main branch um, code for production and then this one code for testing lah testing which is in staging okay so if let's say any of you uh, when people ask what is staging then you can just say that it is um, a branch or or level for code testing lah code testing as in you will test your your system or your web app or your project and then if anything ev everything is good and then the code can be merged into main branch okay so and then the next one will be feature branch which is uh, commonly people developers use feed as the short form for this uh, feature and then uh, following by the the name of the feature so for example feed and then email notification and then um, the next one is bug fix Okay, commonly used uh, using fix keyword and then following with 
what is the the bug that you are trying to fix in that branch okay and then etc meaning that uh, it could be any other keyword but if uh, if let's say you are following this uh, common branch practice uh, so it would be easier for you to blend in with uh, with any company with any people or develop or other developers to work together lah okay so um Okay, common commit practice. Uh, this would be maybe I think I can show after after I introduce the GitHub lah. So I think you can proceed to GitHub first. Okay, so GitHub. Okay, what is GitHub? So GitHub GitHub is a for-profit company that offers a cloud-based Git repository hosting service. So uh okay just want to know if any of you guys uh know what is the meaning of repository so repository is i can say repository is a code base for each project so one project one code base one repository okay so github essentially will make a lot easier for developers or teams to use git okay to use git for version control lah and collaboration so GitHub or GitLab or Bitbucket, okay. So this is just the interface of the GitHub. But then later on, I will show you the my my account, okay. So in GitHub, we can do things like a uh, commit, okay. You can it can be done through your code editor or terminal, okay. And then uh, we can handle the branch, we can handle pull request. Pull request meaning that uh, you are requesting your branch. Allah, yep, tutup. Your branch. You are requesting your branch to be merged into another branch. Okay. Into another branch, it could be uh, any other branch, and then commonly you are requesting your branch to be merged into the master branch lah, the main branch. Okay, so if let's say uh, you will hear, uh, if let's say you guys uh, ever heard that uh, developers will ask for PR, so pull request will uh, this is just the short form for ni lah mm, pull request pr okay so in in work uh work punya uh environment and then the junior will ask for pr will re request pr to a uh, will create a pr to the to the main branch lah so the senior will accept and approve the merge of the branch okay so in GitHub, we can also handle issues and then fork. Fork is uh, duplicate, duplicate other repository. Okay, and then collaborators. Collaborators. This is where you invite um, your your friends or your partner, partner or friends, to code to code in the same uh, repository lah. Okay. So I think let's jump right in into eh mana okay into GitHub okay so we go to the dashboard first okay so this is GitHub and then as you can see here this is uh just showing the my recent activity and my repository and then here uh in the middle is a timeline of uh, anyone that you are following uh, so this is my friend so uh, i can see that uh, what activity uh, that they have been done for the past few days and then uh, here just uh, notification okay or what happened but i want to focus on your profile first okay so Oh okay. Uh, if you guys uh didn't know yet, um, GitHub could be your 
online resume for if any of you guys uh, want to be a software engineer or software developer okay so github account is a needed is a must have uh, so that if let's say in your resume please uh, include also your github link lah okay copy this github.com uh, like myself uh, github.com slash nbl nabi akmal and then uh, just paste it in your resume so that would be a, a i can say point add on points that uh, when the company that uh, receive your application so they know that you already already dive yourself right into uh, the dev developer environment lah okey ada soalan ke tadi Oh, boleh boleh. Nak nak juga nota. Cuba kejap. Actually, I think I can share online. Good. Kejap. Boleh je, boleh je tak ada masalah. Mm, can view everyone. Anyone with the link. Eh, jap mana ni? Oh, ni ni. Copy link. Okay. Ah. Uh, cuba try cuba try <laughs> rasanya boleh kot okey kalau boleh boleh eh kalau boleh bagi tahu kalau tak boleh uh, nanti saya try export lah ah okey boleh ni ada few people okey ha uh, you guys can look lah ah uh, tu ada tangga orang dah okey so uh, we'll proceed to the github okey github profile okey as i said earlier so this is uh, just example uh, for the github profile but i want to focus on the repository okay here repositories i have uh, a lot of repositories under my personal github account then if let's say we go into just one example okay oh okay um not to forget that we can have a private and also public Uh, repository so this one basic html is actually uh, done by me uh, for the previous class on the basic html class with crenovator and then so this one you can make it uh, public or also private so public when people go into your account they can see your repository and your code base but private uh, of course they cannot see lah your, your code base okay so Um, okay, we start with Okay, here uh, Zoom in Okay, so explanation, Brief explanation lah on this Okay, so this is your GitHub name GitHub account name And then this your um, Project, your repository name Okay, so here As you can see uh, I only have, currently have One branch Okay, branches which is master since actually this is uh, just my personal project I'm working alone and then I only done it in one branch but if you guys see here okay this is the example of one repository for package uh, release please okay uh, regarding the release please I will explain later on this is actually to help you guys uh, make a better commit practice lah okay so it will be uh, involved with the conventional commits here okay okay just to show here you can see that they, they has 23 branches and also tags okay so you can see that uh, they the branches can be named uh, by anything lah okay so some of it fix okay Uh, maybe this one the name of the feature lah so uh, how you uh, name your branch is up to you actually so up to you up to your team lah wherever uh, method is suit your for you and your team just go on with it there's no wrong or right okay so maybe let's say if you jump into one company and then you you look into the branch and then you said that uh, oh no 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 this is wrong but actually Uh, it's up to the team lah. So, 
uh, nothing is wrong you can name it anything okay uh, then uh, okay we can see here issues okay issues here is where you can create an issue and then whoever wants to um to fix it okay basic basically issue have problem so if anyone wants to fix it they can proceed with uh making a branch and then commit based on the issue lah so as you can see here this is a public repository for the package uh, release please and then this is uh, an open issue okay everything is open issue so it is uh, open for anybody including me okay since this is a uh, open source project so anybody including me can uh, commit to this uh, particular issue lah okay so open to anyone actually so they can have a uh, tagging lah the tagging this is just to filter on the uh, issue lah whether it is a uh, bug uh, feature request or maybe a uh, level of priority okay all of this can be made by by the team lah so there's actually no fixed gu fix uh, method to follow but there's always a guideline lah if you uh, did some re uh, if you do some research on how the best way to to make an issue with filtering lah okay so okay um the import next the important is pull request so if you see here pull request is um you requesting to merge a branch into another branch okay so if for example i open one and then okay this one okay this is the name of the developer wants to merge how many commit into the bin okay ah yeah as you can see there's uh there's main title here for the branch okay so the the branch here is done by the the name of the developer and then the label of the fix and then what is the problem okay so uh this is i can say globally used uh, method um on how to name your branch and also your commit lah okay commit here meaning that each of your changes lah small changes which is for example uh fix okay allow link version lah and then as you can see here there is also file change okay this is what i meant by history so if you see there's a red line and also green line uh, showing that uh, if you see there's a minus uh, symbol here meaning that the code is removed and then the plus symbol here is the code is added okay so you know this branch will remove this line and then add this line okay so um, it will show every file change lah so the 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 responsible the responsibility for the senior uh, who are responsible for the main branch or the original branch uh, is uh, the senior or the team lead need to check on on the pull request lah on the files change whether it is uh, good to go good to be merged into the main branch or not so here you can uh, let's say uh, I'm looking into this PR and then uh, because actually this PR is still open okay uh, didn't yet merge so I think that this line uh, should be improved maybe so I can just read leave a comment lah here okay so and then the the developer will eventually uh, notified by my my comment and then if let's say it has to be fixed then uh, the developer need to fix it before I approve the 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 merge lah. Okay, so here uh, okay, this one just uh, action, but actually uh, actions project it this is if let's say you want to utilize GitHub 
to the fullest okay so you can actually for actions and projects me myself uh haven't explored it yet since uh for the moment uh, uh i'm not using github for big project i'm using currently in my company we are using uh apa tu big bucket okay by atlasin lah so tengok sini big bucket okay using jira jira uh, is a third party Okay, Bitbucket and we also have uh, GitLab. Okay, this one is GitLab. So, either, either of the platform is using Git lah for the version control. Okay, uh, so me myself, I'm using GitHub for my personal projects. Uh, but using Bitbucket for in company lah, in company punya work. Okay, so kejap kita tengok tadi ada tulis apa lagi ya eh? branch PR issue fork. Okay, collaborators. Okay, so fork meaning that uh, okay let's say this is a uh, uh, repository for uh, by Google APIs. The name is release please. Then I want to fork the project. Fork meaning that you copy the code and then if let's say for example i click fork eh dia tekan ke okay and then uh, fork meaning that uh, copy the repository into your github uh, account lah github account in your repository your own self okay so by creating fork you actually have the code base and you can make your own changes without uh, other people to uh, without waiting for other people punya comment or approval or anything since you can this is a open source punya code base then you can use it by your own lah okay uh, maybe a bigger repository will take a little time a little bit more time Apa ni? Uh, boleh ke publish site in GitHub on private? Hide some code. Ah, jap. Macam mana? Publish site uh, dalam GitHub. Uh, code base dia private. Okay. Lepas tu. Uh, jap. Tapi kalau... Okay, tak apa. <laughs> A bit tak faham sikit. Uh, tapi untuk GitHub punya release... Eh, ayolah uh, deploy. Actually, uh, the, the keyword is deploy. So, GitHub actually have one support for the deployment. Mana ya? Eh? Jap, tak jumpa. Ni kot. Uh, bukan. Ah ni page. Okay. Ah, uh, if you guys have have GitHub repo, and then go to the settings, then you can look into pages where uh, github pages uh, you can they can host your project from your repository right away but i think uh, there is a few limitation on the github uh, pages uh, because uh, previously i think uh, i think you need to check on it since uh, previously i only use it uh, to deploy static yeah uh, static repository on oh uh, yeah yeah static repository so just just try to look into settings github pages where you can choose um, to deploy from uh, your branch and then just choose maybe master uh, I think previously I have one publish punya uh, ni, ni kot Okay, basic HTML ni Rasanya ada Settings Pages No, ni ada Live Haa, <laughs> ni Ada anjing uh, So, let's say uh, I can say uh, I think maybe uh, if you want to publish the page in GitHub pages, just check on the limitation, or maybe it suits your your need, 
and then you can use uh, this lah so it is free uh, you can use it and then i think the the domain is quite quite okay lah kan dia ada your name as your subdomain then the repository punya name lah so for the sake of i think uh, uh, i can give idea on maybe you can use GitHub pages for uh, final year project uh, everyone is student ke tak sure lah tak kisahlah uh, final year project or any presentation to other people okay without buying any domain to publish your website maybe you can just use uh, GitHub pages lah okay uh, dia ada ada few limitation I think uh, so you need to check on this GitHub enterprise restrict access to github pages site by publishing it privately hmm. ah yeah maybe the question is could turn up public ah and then website tu public ah betul ke asalnya betul ke ah okay betul <laughs> ah okay so ah uh, yes uh, okay we can try okay, so this is my setting Uh, currently this is public okay you can see here the setting is public we can look into general i think kejap kejap kita kena cari balik uh, push archive okay ni pergi boleh dekat danger zone change visibility okay change to private okay uh, okay oh apa ni number of star satu Okay So dah private uh, Just check back Okay We can still use uh, Private repo and But Publish our GitHub pages uh, Publicly Okay so Dah menjawab soalan tadi So you can try lah kot Okay And then uh, Oh okay Another one Uh, point I want to point out the collaborators in the GitHub. Okay, so let's say um, uh, you want to work with your teams, a uh, few of your friends, you can just add people. Okay, just type the username lah or email of the user of your friend. So you can check here lah, uh, mana profile. Edit mm, good. Ah, ni lekat. Ni, ni username. Hmm, email tu email login lah. Email login. Okay. Sekejap. Uh, Satu lagi. Oh, okay. Uh, if you guys didn't know yet uh, GitHub Education, please, uh, okay, uh, I say please do look into the GitHub Education. As in, they have a lot of... Uh, a lot of promotion for students okay please log in using your github account and then just follow the the step to make sure you are verified to have to 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 get the nilah student developer pack ah okay hmm, ni penting tau eh alamak tekan apa ni okay student developer pack offer ni ah uh, so useful that if you check in here We have a lot of uh, free things, okay. Uh, for example, okay, uh, okay. I just check offer ni lah, okay. Uh, okay, for example, digital ocean, you could uh, get uh, 20, eh, 200 eh dollar, okay, for one year. Okay, so let's say you are a final year and then uh, going through intern. I think uh, this offer is uh, sangat sangat okay for you to maybe to publish your your web to handle your web in the server okay uh, and then you can look uh, you can dive yourself in into how to handle cloud server and etc lah so name chip here is for domain okay domain name registration uh, you can choose anything free for one year okay just put your name or or etc for example myself is this One, I buy nabiakmal.dev, but it already expired. <laughs> okay, so name.com already also domain. 
okay Heroku uh, hosting service tag domain also domain hmm, banyak lagi lah banyak lagi okay you can please uh, look into the GitHub Education lah because uh, I think the most uh, the most function yang paling function ni ni lah digital ocean sebab dia server dia dia give you server uh, free Okay, mail gun ni untuk email Banyak lagi So, please check on it Okay uh, Lagi apa lagi? Kejap, check balik Oh, okay So, rasanya I think that's all for the introduction for GitHub lah Okay So, banyak lagi actually for the features um, You guys can look into it Oh, okay for one more thing uh, This is the section here Uh, green dotted punya stack here it is uh, mewakili you guys punya contribution lah so if we look into 2022 this is last year so as you can see here um, kita tak 2021 lah oh no 2020 ok so this is where I'm still a student then uh, up to 2021 from March here ok Here uh, where I start my intern internship then across the month I, I until until yeah February okay uh, because in my uh, during my internship uh, I'm using git uh, github to for our uh, virtual control in my company And then uh, starting here, this is only personal project lah since uh, much uh, already jump into other company. And then as you can see here, uh, uh, I'm using less uh, in GitHub. Okay, since uh, I'm using Bitbucket. Then 2023, <laughs> zero contribution. Okay, so baru 13 hari lah. So tak apa lah. <laughs> okay, so uh, what, what does contribution mean here is just... Uh, If let's say you put your uh, GitHub profile in your resume and then GitHub contribution here uh, will show uh, your punya effort lah. Okay, you punya effort uh, if maybe you want to make any uh, apa tu? Um, side project just to show that uh, if let's say the interviewer, okay, the interviewer might be your the the, the team lead in the company or the any other developers then when they look into your GitHub punya account so macam oh ok lah budak ni function lah banyak lah buat ah, macam tu lah ok so you can see that uh, this is by date lah ok hari kan kadang atau weekend ada buat masa ni gigih lah <laughs> banyak masa free kan so uh, boleh buat macam tu kalau macam ni tengok hijau dia pekat sikit tu meaning that uh, tu, dia 18 contribution meaning ada commit lah ok yeah. So, oh tu, <laughs> akan soalan um, Okay, I think maybe I can show the example on how we use Git in our terminal lah, in our project So, so okay, this is my terminal uh, Kita masuk uh, Okay Okay So uh, right now I'm in the my project directory this rack uh, jangan tanya apa panjang dia <laughs> kadang main letak ya eh. sebab uh, ni just for my uh, personal punya project okay just to uh, freshen up good skill uh, and then okay first of all you guys need to install git lah uh, install git hmm. okey how ha ah, kena tengok kena tengoklah uh, windows ke mac ke install git on ah okey ni ha ah, ni jap copy rasanya ni function kot boleh check kalau nak check first of all kena install git dulu and then terminal pun kena ada okey Terminal dekat Windows ada command prompt. Ha, okay, so kalau kalau Macbook ada uh, 
uh, ada terminal dia ada terminal ni ha, tu tapi saya tak guna saya guna nama dia wap ha wap cantik sikit ya, macam ni ah ha. okey so um, okey kita tengok kalau kita tengok github we can see the list of command that you can use uh, okey in using git punya command line interface lah cli okey so you can see git add move restore remove uh, and then banyak lagi actually okey here branch commit merge rebase reset okey switch tag and then uh, okey lah git fetch pull push pull push uh, kira macam okey few things yang penting kat sini Uh, fetch pull push and then dekat sini pun penting ah last sekalinya semua penting <laughs> okey ah uh, okey i think maybe i can show example for let's say kita tengok eh kita tengok ah uh, I, i will show example from git clone until ah uh, complete lah um okey kita tengok kejap kita tengok uh, member punya member punya uh, punya repo tengok ada tak yang yang okey oh ni kot okey dipakai node.js untuk api okey so um you can go here code and then This is the link. Okay, just copy the link. Then we uh, dia ada clone. Nampak eh? Dia ada eh mana? Clone. Hilang. Oh atas. Ha ni, clone eh. Okay, so git clone. Okay, Allah. Hilang. Copy balik. Ah uh, okay, git clone mm, the link of the repo. Uh, okay, click enter. So we will clone the repository into our uh, local so the name is apa nama dia tadi ha oh, tak jumpa oh nest okey so nest api public so kita dah dapat lah the whole uh, project punya files and etc okey so dia ada source ada test and then dia ada few config file kat sini then ah uh, ni semua kita dah ada okey Um and then uh, maybe I can open the code Oh kejap tadi sini Okay for example for example I will only change the readme punya file Okay readme punya file is okay this one okay ah uh, boleh nampak ni readme So this is uh, .md is markdown okey markdown ni markdown okey the the one of the i can say language kut okey to to write uh, readme punya file lah readme is the reference for the repo for you to understand what is the repo is about Okay, kalau tengok dekat sini, you can boleh dia dia ada cakap lah description dia. Okay, Nest Framework TypeScript Starter Repository yang macam tu lah. Okay, so dia ada lah ada ni logo logo ni semua ni dia buat juga ni. Ha, banyak banyak ni. HTML, dia still macam HTML pun boleh, but it has its own uh, method to write something lah. Okay, for example kita uh, tukar lah sikit ni lah. Progressive Node.js. Eh, uh, eh uh, so much progressive. Ha, kita ada tambah sikit perkataan kat situ So uh, Kita oh, Jauh pergi Okay terminal tadi Okay um, If we want to check the status The git status Meaning that kita ada buat changes ke tidak So kita tengok git status Okay so kita kena tengok kat situ Kita ada tulis uh, Modified ni Modified readme.md Uh, and then if you guys uh, already use uh, oh tak pernah guna VS Code this is VS Code uh, you can see uh, dia ada embedded sekali source control here 
the, the third icon here and then you can see there the changes readme.md ok kalau kita klik kita akan boleh nampak lah the changes so kalau tengok kat sini kalau if you guys nampak dia ada hijau dia pekat sikit ni lah ha, tu nampak ke hijau dia pekat sikit meaning that kita tambah tu je sebelum ni macam ni uh, progressive and then yang baru dia uh, so much progressive ok and then um, first kita uh, saya tunjuk how we do it in the command line ok so we first need to add the file so kita tambah file tu nama dia readme.md ok git add and then after kita add Uh, kita commit ok kita commit dash m um, fix kot fix um, description typo contoh lah ok lepas kita commit we need to push so git push dash u origin main Okay, uh, if let's say you guys tak boleh keep up dengan uh, dia punya command line dalam terminal ni um, uh, Nak cakap boleh google tu, memang boleh google lah Tapi, uh, ah, tu lah Kena telah git cheat sheet lah kot, kalau nak senang lah selalunya Before this, uh, I sendiri pun memang kadang-kadang buka aja macam ni Git cheat sheet, okay The... Oh, dah sudah. Kena download pula. Ada gambar ke? Hmm. Okay. Uh, so, the, the, the key point is uh, you need to explore sebab banyak betul. Cuma, tapi kat sini just nak tunjuk lah. Uh, ya, dia buat changes something. Uh, oh, tak apa. Kita tambah kat Figma ni lah. Figma sini kan. Uh, first, kita git add. Lepas tu kita commit message Dan kita push So nanti Dia akan update dekat kita punya repository tu lah Okay so ni git push Dekat main Allah Lupa <laughs> Ini repo orang lain pula ha, Patut tadi kita fork dulu tadi ha, So sepatutnya Okay takpe kita tunjuk ni lah Uh, one example Pergi ke projek yang Ni Ok ni saya punya sendiri So Buka code Dalam ni Kita nak uh, Kita tukar dia punya readme juga Ok Ok ni readme dia ha, Ok uh, Able To publish live Contoh lah Ok So kita ada changes kat situ So kalau kita tengok kat sini Ada dua file changes lah Tapi tak apa Just nak commit yang ini Oh tadi dah tunjuk kan uh, How to add commit Dekat terminal uh, okay. So ni This is the example Kalau dekat uh, VS Code lah So just tekan tambah Stitch changes So kita tulis commit dalam ni Um Fix Bukanlah fix Fit like code Fit Update Readme Okay Then kita Enter lah So Lepas kita enter Kita boleh tekan ni Okay kat bawah ni kalau nampak Push one commit to Origin master ha, Kita tekan So dia akan push Update sekejap Loading Okay done So, kalau kita tengok balik dekat saya punya account tadi My repository uh, Okay, this one This red um, Okay, kita tengok Okay, ni Kalau boleh tengok kat sini Dia tulis now Kalau yang lain semua last month, two weeks ago, apa semua kan So, now uh, This is the date And then kita ada dia punya commit message lah kat sini So which file change tu kat sini lah readme Ok kalau kita tengok dekat commits ni Ok so fit update readme ha, Kalau boleh tengok juga yang lain ni Dia ada banyak 
Ya, ah, ni saya punya before ni lah. So, kita ada fix, ada feed, 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 feed. Dengan commit message yang meaningful lah. Meaningful is that you can keep track lah. Uh, history apa yang you guys uh, had done before. Okay, kalau let's say ada problem. Then you just want to check on the previous commit. Dia yeah, click on the commit. Okay, dia tunjuk lah. So, this is the commit. Uh, who who is the one commit the code. Okay, what is the file change? So, dia tunjuk kat sini. So, previously only here. Uh, and then, dia tambah lah. Ni rasanya ada white space kot. Dia detect dua ni pula. Okay. Um, okay. Before kita lupa. Ada one thing that I need you guys to check also. For the common common practice. Which is... Uh, Globally, everyone will follow conventional commits And then, it will relate with the server Server is, lupa tambah sini Semantic version Semantic version as in Kalau you guys pernah nampak uh, Yang macam uh, V1.0.4 Allah 4 uh, Macam itulah Okay, semantic version actually uh, boleh jump into other topic because uh, there are a few things to to understand juga since um, kalau tengok kat sini uh, Okay, ni semantic version So, this is where you detect the version major changes or minor changes or only a patch Patch meaning that very small changes Below minor lah So major besar Yang boleh buat breaking changes Kalau tak update boleh rosak Kita guna package tu apa ke Then minor and then patch um, So ah uh, Kalau nak tengok juga Kita boleh copy link Eh Okay server You guys can check And then Just one thing is Conventional commits lah Conventional commits ni This is where I want you guys to check on because uh, this will uh, improve your commit punya uh, commit practice lah. Since a good commit message uh, is always a good practice because you always can check on uh, what is the thing or code changes that you had done before. So that kalau kita nak uh, backlog balik, kita nak check Uh, what happen uh, So kita boleh check lah So Why I need you guys to To At least understand Why we need to Use conventional commits This is actually uh, the, Where we use fix Okay Fix for Patch a bug Okay Patch minor uh, Small punya changes Fit Which is Which is features So on, Also minor But And then breaking change uh, for major lah. So macam tadi, let's say commit message tu kita ada fix uh, update name or maybe fit uh, change uh, modal. Contoh, kalau breaking changes tu changes ah uh, kita buat lah macam tertiba update uh, package version ah. Uh. So If you guys follow the conventional commits and then uh, following the fix, fix, breaking change and then ada banyak lagi build, chore, tak nampak kot kecil sangat uh, build, chore, okay, dog, style, refactor, test for unit test um, what commit uh, what we'll do if you guys follow the commit following the conventional commits it will uh, the moment when the pull request is merged Okay. Uh, actually, we have a package called Release Please that actually will update your change log. Okay, dekat dekat sini dia tulis change log dot markdown, md. Okay, dia akan update change log file kita tu, and then dia akan update version number, which is if I think you uh tunjuk lagi clear. Okay, contoh for example, ah uh, okay. Ini uh, repo release please ni tadi Kalau kita tengok dekat change log dia Okay Release please ni 
adalah package yang 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 buat kepada ni lah yang yang membuatkan commit message kita tu uh, meaningful meaningful as in if let's say uh, you want to check on the previous history of your commit okay go into the change log file okay so the title is change log then you can see that this is the version 15.1.1 which is the this is the major version 15 the minor version 1 and then the patch 1 okay so the latest is uh, on bulan 1 eh 6 bulan 1 ah baru lagi few days few few days before okay dia ada buat bug fix so um what happen here is if let's say your commit message kita ada tulis fi- fix and then fix apa So dia akan automatik lah update kat sini. Ah, uh, so the commit punya link pun ada. So boleh check juga commit tu kita buat changes apa. Okay, kalau buka ni, ah, uh, nah boleh tengok lah. So memang boleh keep track balik, backlog balik. Kita boleh check balik. Actually what happen? Kod kod if let's say you guys ah uh, ada problem, ada kod problem kan? Okay, so dia ni ni lah dia punya timeline. So ini ha uh, 5 bulan 1. Okey, the version keep uh, increasing. So previously 5 bulan 1 dia 0.0. So uh, bu- 6 bulan 1 0.1 which is ada bug fix. Okey, ada code changes, code update. Ha uh, so kalau kita tengok kat sini 15.1.0 ni dia ada features. Okey, ada bug fix. Ha uh, so kat sini macam saya cakap tadi lah yang breaking changes ni. Breaking changes ni actually um, developer need to know lah. Oh, one more thing. Uh, skills of reading change log also important eh. So, if let's say you guys want to be a software developer using third party package, any other package lah. So, before you are, before you use the package, sometimes you need to check on the change log, code-code ada breaking changes or version not compatible or etc. Okay. So, you, you can just check Here, okay, code refactor Macam tadi, kalau kita tengok kat Conventional message Message Ha, ni lah, ada refactor, okay Refactor, so dia ada code refactor Features ni fit lah So, break it changes Bug fix, bug fix, bug fix Oh, tu Ada pun semua So, package ni Package release please ni lah yang buatkan auto update change log Kalau tidak, kita sendiri yang nak kena Every time kita update code kita nak kena tulis lah kat sini. So selalunya uh, public repo, open source punya project uh, akan ada change log ni lah. So um, macam contoh Malaysia punya latest tu, doors. Alamak apa? Ah ha, ni, doors Malaysia GitHub. Oh, okay, ni Okay, Department of Statistic uh, This one I think made by Ravizi So Okay, so Semua ni public Public, public Okay, data Malaysia pun public So you guys can check Boleh tengok lah Sebab dia orang punya data ni memang Eh, yang ni ke? Bukan oh, dah. Tak, Dia tak update pula kat sini Lawa ada orang punya ni. Ha ni kot. COVID-19. Ada ke dia punya link? Ha tu lah. Just. Ha just nak tunjuk. 